Hey everyone, welcome back to InfoGamer. In this video, we're going to be starting a new playlist for a new game. Yeah, and this game's going to be Snake. It's already on the Android market. You can download it and play it, but it's the old version of Snake. It's not Slither.io. Yeah, Slither.io is a really popular game right now. A lot of people are playing it. It's It used to be top of the charts, top of the free chart on iOS. I don't think it's quite there anymore, but it's it's way up there. So it's really popular, and we thought we would make just the basic snake game that used to be on all the old brick phones back in the day. Yeah, so let's get started. All right, so here we have a little demo of the game that we're going to be building. We're going to be building Snake, and so let's show you how it works and everything that we're going to be creating in this playlist. So this is the main menu. Right now I have a title, which is just Snake, then a play button, and we have a high score and a last score, and then we have a link to our YouTube channel. And you can actually play this game on Android at the moment if you search Snake Ultimate on Android and then look for the one that was made by InfoGamer, you'll be able to play this exact same version. So let's go ahead and hit play and show you how the game works. So right now we have our snake which moves in one direction at a time and then we have our score and our exit button and then we have our food. And as you click different directions with the arrow keys, your snake will change directions and you can try and pick up the food. So let's go ahead and pick up the food, and every time we do so, our snake gets a little bit longer. Another feature that we have added to this game is the screen wrap, which is pretty fun. To code, when your snake goes off one side of the screen, he reappears on the other side of the screen. You could make it so that when your snake runs into the side of the screen, it just dies and you have to start over. It makes it a little more challenging for the players to you know, win or get further in the game because they have to not only avoid themselves, but they have to avoid the side of the screen. But we just decided to do a little screen wrap because we thought it would be fun to code. And it's a good, you know, for other games, it's a good uh, skill to know how to code a screen wrap. So you can see that as I pick up a food, the score is incremented and our snake gets one cube or one unit longer and it's always hard to pick up the food when it's in the corner ah keep missing let's see right now yeah i got it okay so i'll go ahead and hit exit and you can also see that it looks like our last score might not be updating but our high score would update if i surpassed 14. Then we also have it so that the high score will save. And so when you exit the game and come back, your high score will be there to remind you what your high score is. So now that you know what we're going to be building, let's go ahead and create a new project. So here we have Unity opened, and it's a fresh new project. When we created this project, we selected 2D because this snake game is going to be a 2D game. And now let's go ahead and show you how to set up your folder system in the project menu. So there's going to be a few folders that we're going to need to create. One will be our, for our scenes, and there will be two scenes, a main menu and a game scene. Now we need to create a folder for our scripts. We'll need a folder for our prefabs. And for now, let's create just one more folder for our materials. So let's create a new folder, call it materials. Now that we have the folder system set up, there's going to be a couple things that we need to do to our main camera. The first thing that we need to do is change the background color to black. You could change it to any color you want, but in order to make it the way we made it in our demo, 
we we're going for a an old school feel where you only have black and white. And so let's change the background to black. And then we need to change the size of our camera or the size field on the camera component to 20. This makes it so that our camera captures more space in our scene. The last thing that we're going to want to do is create two prefabs. We're not going to add any code to these prefabs just yet. We'll save that for the next video. But we're going to have one prefab for our snake and then another prefab for our food. So let's go to our prefabs folder. And then when we're in our prefabs folder, let's create a new 3D object. And we're going to create a cube. Now let's rename this object. So let's double click on it and we'll call it snake. And then let's duplicate this. Actually, let's wait, it, hold off on duplicating it. Let's create some tags. So click on our tag, drop down menu, and then go to add tag. And we're going to add two tags. One will be snake and then the next will be food. not FOD, food. Now let's go back to our snake and let's select the snake tag. And now what we need to do is create the material for our snake and food. And it's going to be the same material because we only have a white unlit material for both. So let's go to our material folder and we will right click and then go create and material. And let's call this white. And then let's go to the shader drop down menu and select unlit color. And the default is white. So we can just leave it that, like that. And now what we're going to want to do is drag this material onto our snake object. And you can see that it changed from one that had like a gray color with the lighting to just an unlit white shader or unlit white material. Now what we want to do is select our snake object and then duplicate it with control D and we're going to rename this to food. And we're going to change the tag to food and then we're going to select both these objects and drag them into our prefab folder. Well, let's drag one at a time. And so now we have our prefabs. We have our snake and our food. Hey, thanks for watching how to build the assets and the environment for snake. And since we've got the camera set up and adjusted how we want it, we're ready to start scripting. And that's what we're going to do in our next video. So stay tuned. It's going to be out shortly. Yeah, make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. We'll see you next time. Yeah, bye.